George Floyd, Ahmed Abari, that that's, that's these Geschichten sind. In the mid 90s, people started coming to us and complaining about this uh, stop and frisk. Quite a large number of people came to us. And they used to tell us stories about how police would stop them, places like uh, Breitscheidplatz, uh, Leopoldplatz, Hammondplatz, and so on and so forth. At that time, we didn't know this terminology, racial profiling, which has already been discussed in the United States. But we used to call it, in Germany, call it Razzia. But the experience was similar. You are black, you are a Turk, you are a Roma, you are, you are an Arab, you will be uh, immediately seen as a potential criminal. With this terminology racial profiling, we can focus on the phenomena, what happens. At some stage we started this organization called Campaign for the Victims of uh, Police Violence, Racist Police Violence, which is called POP. KOP. Funny idea that maybe police have some reason. There is reason. No, they have no reason. They do it purposely, and that's why racial profiling is one of the most violent forms of racism. In everyday life, if you go to a supermarket, you will be racially, racially profiled. The authorities which carry guns, when they do it, it has a life and death implication. I do not say that white people do not start civil rights movement or organizations, very old, but their idea is still do not encompass people of color. A better future lies with the children of migrants and people of color. Beweismittel in Gerichtsverfahren zuzulassen und anzuerkennen und die Entkriminalisierung von Kräften.